Um, integration. Quick recap. First off, integration. What's one way of thinking about integration? Uh, you add differentiation. I'm going to go with that one first. Go on. Opposite of differentiation. It's the opposite of differentiation. Okay. That's usually one way of thinking about it. So, let's, again, do a, well, no, we won't do a recap. We'll just go straight into an example and see what you make of it. So, if I was integrating um, 5x to the power of 7, this is like the, re yeah, this is a recap. This is a recap, isn't it? Okay, what will we get from that one? And I'm going to ask Jack to nominate somebody. Grace it. Can I take her answer? Yeah. Okay, yeah. 5x to the power of 8 over 8. Plus so, Gracie, thank you very much. Plus C. Gracie, in words, what did we do there in that one? Um, we added 1 to the power. Yeah, we added 1 to the power and we divided by the new power. Okay? Right. Let's have a look at if we were integrating this. Right, Callum has just said he's going to guess. Without any other thought, guess Callum. Would you divide the 5 and 3, so it would be like 3 fifths at the start, and then you plus the 5 at the, the power, and you get 6, and you just keep the bracket the same? Right, I'm going to stick with part of that, okay? I'm going to stick with, you keep the brackets the same, and you add 1 to the power to put a 6. I'm going to keep... One six at the beginning. Would you divide by so we're dividing by six. That is correct, which is one six at the beginning, same thing. Now, think back to that last red box rule we had for differentiation. What wouldn't have, what haven't we done yet? It's like the reverse of the last one. The what divide the bit in front of the power by the No, the bit in front of the X coefficient by the power. So, you do, last time we did something with the thing in front of the X, which we called A. That comes down here as well. Okay? So, that's what we get. Okay? So, that becomes 3X plus 4. We add 1 to the power, and we divide by what was in front of the X and that power. Times together. So, there that will be 18 plus C. Okay? Sorry, thank you for telling me. Okay? So, that is what we do. It is very much the reverse of the other one. So, can we come up with, if I was integrating AX plus B to the power of N, what I get? You can nominate somebody, but I don't want you to do it. I'll leave it like that. Go on. Which bit are you most confident of? You don't have to do it in order. I'm guessing. You put your bracket in, and then you put the end bit, you'd have plus one. And the bracket bit, what goes in the bracket bit? AX plus B. Yeah, that bit doesn't change. And okay. Very close, but not. A times N plus one. Yeah, it's the new power oh, yeah. that comes down here. Okay? with the plus C. And that's correct. Okay? So there is the red box rule for integrating brackets. I'm going to write it down in words as well, like I did last time. Some people prefer it this way. So you keep the bracket. You add 1 to the power. You divide by the new power and by the coefficient of x. And what mustn't we forget, Callum? Uh, plus c. Yeah, okay. And don't forget the plus c on the end, okay? Because Callum mentioned that 
earlier on. Okay? So, there we go. That's the red box rule in formula and words.